You may be considering building a CMDB or integrating new data sources into your CMDB, but before you go any further, do me a favor and press that pause button, make yourself a cup of coffee, and watch this short video where you may end up considering taking a different approach to building that CMDB. Go on, press it. Hi, my name is Kay Van Schoenia. I head the managed service business at Fusion, where we help our customers maximize their investment in service management and service operations programs. When building a CMDB, most organizations start off by looking at an inventory tool, a discovery tool, to hoover up the entire data center and the cloud and put it all into a CMDB. But that approach has been shown to deliver limited value. Here's why. For CMDB to be successful, the data that's held in there has to be relevant to the consumers of that data, has to meet their demands and be accurate. Here are three scenarios. Let's say we have a patching team trying to get their service state up to date with the latest patches. We have the infrastructure teams looking to migrate applications to the cloud and a group of software asset managers looking to optimize use of software licenses. They may all be looking at the same assets, but from different perspectives. Our patching team is looking at details of the latest installed patches and executable versions and configuration settings. The cloud migration team is interested in ensuring that the entire application service spanning across servers is being migrated in one piece. For them, relationships and dependencies play a big part. And as for software asset managers, they don't care if the data is a week or a month old and don't worry about dependencies between assets. But by taking this boil the ocean approach, IT organizations are ignoring the demands of the consumers. And the nature of the beast is such that it takes a long time to be able to hoover up every single element and put it into the CMDB. So value is limited and delivery is long, which is exactly why CMDB adoption across organizations typically is poor, the data quality is impacted, and value is limited. But we have a different approach. Let's take a look. When building a CMDB, take a top-down approach and identify high-priority use cases such as improved information security visibility or software license optimization. Next, work out what is required to deliver these outcomes. The scoping will flesh out things like outcomes metrics, data attributes, what are the best data sources for this particular use case, acceptable data quality SLAs for this use case, identify assets management gaps for this use case. Now work out the plan to deliver these outcomes based on the scoping information you have. As each use case is taken in turn, iterate through them, delivering value every two to four months. The big bonus here is that the scope of the data quality work for each iteration is limited, so you can make some serious headway with data quality improvements. In the next video, I will go through this in more detail. In summary, a top-down approach delivers outcomes every two to four months, and you can iterate use case after use case. Data quality is improved, and IT asset management maturity is gained after each iteration of delivery of these use cases. Oh, you're back. If you're interested in more information, click on the link below for a white paper on the subject. Also, I would love to hear your thoughts and comments on this, so please put them down and I'll respond back. And remember, this video is part of a series of videos that we're recording on the A to Z of digital accelerations. So you, if you're interested to hear more as we publish these videos, then click on the subscribe button.